Hello students, welcome to another lesson. Today we're going to be introducing a concept that is pretty advanced, um, is very used at the master level, but now that you know the two-brook checkmate, we can start getting to know this concept, which is going to help you, like I said last class, is going to help you to close your games once you have the advantage. So if you haven't seen the lesson on the two-brook checkmate, I encourage you to go back and see it, because we're going to make a lot of reference to that checkmate. So basically this concept of thinking backwards has to do with getting familiar with basic positions that are very very simple like the two rook checkmate that we learned last time and what that's going to allow you to do is to have that simple position that you already know in mind. So you could do whatever it takes to steer your, your game towards that position and you'll see what I mean. Like in this position notice that I'm winning by a rook but still, it's not as simple because the black pieces still have their queen. And queens could be tricky. You don't know how many people have seen they are up a rook and all of a sudden they lose the game because this rook gets to uh, capture one of their pieces and they end up losing the game. So the best thing is to keep it simple and try to steer the game towards the two rook checkmate that we already know. And I know when we learned the two rook checkmate, we only had the king, two rooks versus the other king. But guess what? It's not going to be like that every time. So you have to know how to force it and how to make it happen. So in this case, um, I have the opportunity to simplify the game by just trading queens. That's going to make the game so much simpler. And that's going to be my first uh, move. So I take the queen. He's going to take me back. And that's it. Now all I need is to get another rook. So how do I get another rook? Well, you know it has to be with one of these pawns. And we have to see which one is the easiest to get to and of course the easiest is going to be the one further away from the from the black king so all I need to do is remove this pawn and then I'm good to go and take it once I get my other rook or my queen because the queen moves like the rook I could deliver the checkmate uh, on the king or I could first take the pawn which will be really easy once I get uh, another rook or a queen and then I delivered that checkmate. But you see, even though I'm far away from it, I already know what I want. I already know what I'm working towards. So it's my turn, and I'm just going to go rook here. I don't want to attack the king. I just want to go for my rook or queen. So let's say they move the pawn to put him in safety. I take. And now pushing this pawn for my opponent is not going to do anything. I'm just going to capture them as soon as they arrive. So maybe they move the king. Now I get my rook out of the way. Now, notice that I could get another pawn. You could do it, but right now I know that if I get my queen or rook, I will be able to deliver the checkmate that I know. So now I go here, and I'm going to ask for the queen. If he goes here, well, look at this. I already have the checkmate in two moves. I could go check, and notice that it's the same pattern that we know. Wall of fire, then the other piece, rook or queen, is going to go to the next rank, check, and then... The checkmate. Now let's say that instead of the king going um, over here, the king goes back. Well, it's the same thing. Check, he goes down, and checkmate. Now let's say that uh, my opponent's king, instead of going towards the pawn, let's say that he stays here with his pieces to be protected. Say he goes over here. Well, here, uh, just for the sake of showing you, I'm not going to take this pawn. I'm just going to go after this one. I'm going to get out of the way. See, I'm gonna get my queen or rook, and here's my queen. Now, all I need to do now to do the two rook checkmate easy without any difficulties is remove these pawns. If I try to read it right now, it's not safe, it's gonna take me, so I'm going to double up on that pawn. He moves here, well, I take the pawn. He cannot take me because of the queen. Um, let's say he goes over here. Well, now I need to go after the other pawn. Let me go here just to make it simpler. Uh, let's say he goes here, now I attack him with my rook, then I could bring the other piece, check, see I get this pawn, then I get the other pawn, and then guys it's the same thing, wall of fire, check, I go here, now if you want, you don't have to do it because you have the queen, but if you want, practice what we learn. we go to the other ladder, check, we go to the other ladder, and then checkmate. And that's it. So this is that position. 
So we go back here and notice how this position that doesn't look so easy to finish, um, I was able to finish it because I know that to rook checkmate. Now over here is way simpler, uh, but again, I've seen people mess this up. I've seen people uh, stalemate their opponents or lose their rooks or get in complicated positions. So all we're going to do is use our rooks to get rid of the pawns and then deliver the checkmate that we know. So I'm going to start by going here, attacking the first pawn. If they move up, okay, I'll go after the other pawn. If he goes, I take it, then I go after the pawn. So yeah, I'm not interested in doing checks on the king or, or pushing my pawns. I have what I need, two rooks, I know how to do it, so I'm going to start working on it. Uh, let's say this pu they push this pawn, well, I attack the pawn. If they protect it, I bring the other rook. I could start simplifying these pawns for these pawns, or I could use my, my rooks. Uh, I'm going to start using my rooks just for the sake of showing you, because believe it or not, many people have a hard time um, coordinating their pieces to capture other pieces. So right now, it's not safe to take, because they take me, so I'm going again to use the two rooks. Um, let's say he moves up, well, I go here and I take one of the pawns, or I could just do the checkmate, you see? So let's say he goes, I don't know, let's say he goes over here. Well, I could take the pawn, and then I could continue to get the other pawns, or since I already have the king by himself, I could go back, I have the wall of fire, check, and checkmate. So this class, as, as basic as it seems, could save you a lot of headaches uh, if you start thinking this way. And right now we're just talking about the two rook checkmate, but as, as you learn more endgames, it's going to be easier for you to be thinking backwards. And in reality, guys, this class is a follow-up to what we did before with the, with the two rooks, but I didn't want to just leave it there, okay, this is the two rook checkmate, and then people forget it, people don't use it. So now you have a, a different way to, to think about it. So with that being said, I will see you next class.